As an offensive lineman, you know, anytime I can, you know, do O-line specific drills is, you know, that's kind of where I thrive. Um, you know, O-linemen don't run the best 40. We don't jump the highest, but, you know, we take pride in our technique and, and those O-line drills. And that's, that's kind of what I wanted to show these scouts is how well I can move, how well I can bend during my O-line specific drills. Can you give us a sense maybe for the nervousness that you had coming into this? knowing you're going to perform in front of 23 scouts and yeah. they're going to control your future? Yeah, yeah. there's definitely a little bit of nerves, um, but I, I, I treated it like a game. You know, I didn't want to get too nervous. I didn't want to get too relaxed. I wanted to come in here with a level head and just do the best I can do because that's all I can do. Um, I can't do anything more than I can give. I can, you know, and you got to make sure you don't give anything less than you can give. Uh, so I just came in here. I tried to keep a level head, but it is a little nervous. Um, but yeah, I, I, it went good. Where have you been training at the last couple months, and how, how did that go? I've been training here at K-State. You know, I thought that this, this place has been so well to me over the past five years. I didn't, I didn't want to leave it, and, uh, yeah, I wanted to stay here. What were you most impressed with what you did today? I thought, again, the, the O-line specific drills, um, you know, being able to, to work right and left side, uh, you know, I never snapped a ball during college, you know, during a game. Uh, you know, at the end, I was, I was taking snaps. I wanted to show them my versatility. I think that's the biggest thing I got to show is, is my versatility. Uh, you know, I, I'm not blessed with enormous length. You know, I'm not a six foot seven, six foot eight guy. Um, so I got to be a versatile guy. And uh, I, th I think I showed that really well. What do you feel like was the event that gave you the most challenges? Probably a 40 yard dash. <laughs> you know, anytime you ask a you know, 310-pound guy to, to sprint 40 yards as fast as you can. You know, it's always <laughs> it's always a little tough. But no, I mean, I, I thought I, I thought I did well in that. I thought I competed really well in all of the all of the uh, kind of change of directions. Uh, you know, and the 40 time and and the jumping stuff. You know, that O linemen typically don't love to do. But you know, I, I thought I competed really well in that, and I thought it was a great day. Getting down to brass tacks, you have been mentioned on a couple of mock drafts. Um, where do you see yourself right now? What's what's the state of that? You know, I, I really don't pay attention to that stuff. Um, all I can do is is throw everything I got out there and do and be the best I can be. And whether that's a first round draft pick or an undrafted free agent, you know, I as long as I give it all I got, I mean, I'm 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 content with that. So I can't I can't control that stuff. So I really don't think about it. Any teams you've been in contact with so far? Yeah, I've had about 16 interviews with with NFL teams. Um, you know, the, the uh, CGS Bowl down in Dallas, uh, right after the season I competed in that, and there was a bunch of exposure and a bunch of NFL teams down there. And, I, you know, I thought I did really good during the interview process. And, you know, hopefully that, that helps out my stock. And, you know, it's just nice that everything that I've done is out there. You know, my film's out there. My, my pro day's done. You know, my, 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 collegi my uh, senior bowl is out there. So all I can do is just wait now and then keep working. And it's, you know, it's, it's a nice feeling to be done with that stuff. Any teams in particular that you've been in contact with more, maybe more than others or heard from? You know, there's not a team that stick out. Um, you know, I had about, you know, kind of 10, 15 minute interviews with, like I said, a little bit over a dozen teams. Uh, so not, not, not one team like super more, you know, than the other, but yeah. You're here in the indoor facility. You've been here for several years. Just what describe what Kansas State has meant to you, Kansas State football. K State football's you know meant everything to me. It, it all it hasn't been easy all the time. You know it's been a tough, you know tough road. But I've met great people, I've had lifelong friends, relationships that I'll never forget about. Um, and you know this is probably the last time I'll be sprinting in this indoor. You know and that's kind of a good feeling. But after five years, but yeah, I mean it's. It's meant so much to me, and uh, I, I hope I can do what I can to, to make the fans happy, make my family happy, and uh, you know, hopefully one of us gets this draft streak going. I know people are always talking about that, and you know, I, uh, I'm just I'm very blessed to, to be standing where I am right now. Do you feel any pressure with that draft streak? I don't. I don't. Uh, because that's again, that's something I can't control. You know, I've I've got you know, I played 51 games here. I uh, you know, I did my pro day. I did everything I can do, um, and nothing I can do now can change whether or not I get drafted or not. Um, I just, 
yeah, I mean, that would be a dream come true if I could get drafted, but that stuff is uh, out of my control right now.